What's good you guys? So today I wanted to share with you guys my story of how I went from homeless and living in my car to thriving, having my own place, and finally getting on my feet. If you're new here and you haven't been following me, just to give you a brief version of my story, um, I am a professional hip hop dancer, dance is my life, it is what I'm pursuing as a career. Unfortunately, being any type of artist, it's really hard to make a living off of your craft, whatever it is, whether you're a fine artist, whether you dance, you sing, you're a musician, you're an actor, it's very, very hard to make a living that way. Most of us in the beginning, you just, you have to go through a struggle. It is a very different kind of lifestyle. It's not for everyone. You know, we have to work different jobs. We have to have these really, really long days, long hours. We have to invest time into our training, which most of the time we don't get paid for that. But in order to book jobs and get paid in the future, we do have to invest in ourselves. We have to put that time, effort, and energy into getting better at our craft, whatever it is. And for me, that is dance. Four and a half years ago, I quit my last regular job and I pursued being self-employed. So I have had many, many different sources of income over the years and I still do now um, in order to support myself financially, to have the freedom to build my own schedule and have the time to train, go to events. So everything is on my time. I'm able to put a roof over my head. I'm able to put food in my fridge, uh, put gas in my car, and still pursue the lifestyle with dance that I want to pursue. So as I said, I'm self-employed. I have a bunch of different jobs. That to me is the key to being self-employed is to just have many, many different sources of income because some things have slow seasons, some things have busy seasons, some things fall through. So you just need to have a lot of different options. One of my jobs for a long time was Uber Eats. I've been doing that for over two years. Um, for a while it was working. It was great in the beginning. It was a great source of supplemental income. You know, when my other jobs are slow, if I'm not booking a lot of dance gigs, if um, you know I do teach dance so if the studios or the schools they're on break I'm not booking as much dance work um, I had uber eats to fall back on to make that extra income that I needed recently uber in general did a huge pay cut the biggest pay cut they've ever done it just wasn't working for me anymore it was getting to the point I was losing money I was struggling really really bad again I almost contemplated going back and getting a regular job I I did not want to do that but it was that bad I was in that desperate of a situation that I, I needed to consider it I was living in a very very nice apartment building um, I was very happy with it but unfortunately it just based on my income Unfortunately, it was a little too much for me to afford. I just, I had to work a lot in order to live there. And you know, it would be nice to have something like that in the future, but I had to sacrifice that in order to really pursue what I want to pursue, which is dance. So I gave that apartment up. I found a more affordable apartment, moved in, and right after I moved in, I find out the place is infested with roaches. Great, fabulous, awesome. You know, I'm trying to make my life better and easier and it just got 10 times harder. So it was a struggle. I had to fight with the landlord and the building owner and all that, but I was able to get out of it. It took a little over a month. I did lose my deposit and everything, but it's, I, I just, it, it's fine. That, that situation was such a headache. I was happy to get out of it. So after that, I was broke. I was very discouraged to find something in that price range because I, I was terrified to move into another place and have the same issue. So I ended up moving my things into storage and in my car, I ended up staying with friends. Um, but for the most part, I was living out of my car and it was very depressing. Um, I had a hard time making money from Uber. I had lost a lot of money uh, from the situation with the apartment that was more affordable, but I had to move out. So I was just in a really tough place and I definitely didn't want to rush into another place and not be able to afford it. So I decided to just live out of my car and just struggle for a little bit just to figure out how to make my life better. You know, what can I do to make my situation better? It did take some time. It took a lot longer than I wanted to. I was living out of my car for about six months before I moved into the apartment that I fortunately have now. So during those six months, I did a lot of research. I worked really hard. I took every gig that I could get. Um, fortunately, some of my friends were able to hook me up with some work, so that was awesome. I didn't wanna try any other food delivery apps just because I've tried a bunch of other ones and I, I'm just ready. I feel like it was the universe's way of telling me to just move on, there's better out there for me. So a lot of people had recommended Instacart and Ship to me and I, I wasn't sure, you know, I just, I just feel like I wanna do other things, but at the same time, 
trying those things out, if they did work out, would prevent me from having to get another regular job that I didn't want and it could possibly help me get on my feet and then move forward to better things. Some of my close friends actually had some experience with it and they told me it was working great for them so I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. So I signed up for both Instacart and Shipt and it has been working great for me. Um, it's been better than Uber Eats. The way Uber Eats is now, the way they're paying, it, it has been working so much better. Um, I was able to save up, I was able to work really hard. It was very busy during the holidays, so I took advantage of that. Um, and I was able to save up and get my own place, which I am in now, and I'm very grateful and blessed. And this is just motivating me to push myself even harder and work even harder towards better in the future. Instacart and Shipt are not my only sources of income, but it is my replacement for supplemental income instead of Uber Eats, which just, it did its thing for a while, but at this point in time, it just wasn't working for me. I was able to replace Uber Eats with Instacart and Shipt. These apps for me, that's the work that I turn to when I'm just not getting income from any other outlet. You know, it's always there, I can do it on my own time, I can make as much as I want. They are there for me when I need it and right now at this point in time they're working great. So by the end of December I was able to save up a security deposit, first month's rent, um, I was able to get my things out of storage and move in. To this place that I have now. I was able to move into my own place. Um, it is more affordable than what I had before. Ever since I moved in, I've been a lot less stressed out. I have, you know, I have my own place. I have a roof over my head. I don't have to bother people to crash and stuff, to use their showers and all these things. I have a kitchen where I can cook my food. I have a place where I can film my videos and focus more on my channel. Um, it just, it's just good to have my own space again. And after going through that whole struggle period, I'm just really happy and I feel a little bit more at peace now. So I wanted to share this story just to show you guys, you know, if you're going through a rough patch, you're going through a really tough time, um, not only was my living situation, my financial situation was bad, but my mental health was not good either and I'm sure a lot of it was because of my lifestyle but just everything it was kind of one of those times in my life where I felt like everything was falling apart and I know you know when I was in that funk I kept telling myself like it's gonna get better it's gonna get better it's okay like you have to struggle in order to get to that really good happy place but it's hard it's hard when you're that low to pick yourself up but now that I'm in a better place you know I'm grateful for the struggle I just I appreciate little things. I appreciate having my own bed, my own room to go to every night. I appreciate having a kitchen somewhere where I can cook my food. Just having a place where I go in the door, I lock it behind me and no one can bother me. Like this is my space, this is my home. So it's really nice to have that after not having it for so long. It's just, I'm very grateful. I worked very, very hard for it. So if you're going through something, if you want to change your life and be in a better place if even if your living situation you know maybe you're living somewhere you have roommates or you're living at home and you want to move out um maybe this will motivate you and inspire you and show you there are ways to do it you do have to work hard uh for me i do consider it a hustle lifestyle but this lifestyle isn't for everyone you know this particular situation it might not be the same for everyone i do have a lot of different jobs but in this situation instacart and ship the timing was perfect. I'm really glad that I gave them a chance. Um, Uber, Uber was great for a while, but it just, it just went downhill, and it's really unfortunate because there was a time it was working great for me. Uh, so I'm just really grateful that Instacart and Shift they've been helping me out because if it weren't for them. I, I don't know, I probably would have had to go and get a regular job. I hope this inspires you guys and motivates you, you know, if, like I mentioned, if you're going through a tough time, I hope it gets better. Just work hard, don't give up. Seriously, don't give up. Um, if you're feeling low, if you're feeling bad, like you can let yourself feel sad. You can just, if you need to be alone, just if you need to vent, like do whatever you need to do for yourself. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about crying or just, Whatever you have to do, like if you need to hide from everyone, if you need to cancel plans, like that sometimes is what you need for you and that's okay. You can always make your life better, always. Wherever you're at, always. Even where I'm at now, you know, I'm still striving for more, I'm still striving for better. So just know that you have that power. You, you have it in you 
everyone is capable so just don't give up that is my story guys thank you so much for tuning in um i hope that this helped you guys out if you have a story that you want to share please feel free to share in the comments below uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys